Well, good morning, everybody. This is the old captain. The old captain coming to you live from Crooked Creek with this week's Crooked Creek Hymn of the Week. Since I've discovered that I can um, put a little bit more, maybe do a little devotion, add a little bit more to it than just sing, I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed doing that, and I hope you don't mind. We have a theme for the day. Today's theme is examining ourselves. From time to time, the scriptures tell us to examine ourselves, to self-evaluate. To, to evaluate means to see how you're doing according to a standard. Well, the only standard that lasts is the Word of God. So when we um, do a self-examination, we should compare ourselves to the standard, which is the Word of God, which is Jesus and His life. So how are we doing? How are you doing today? How am I doing? Uh, a while back, I was privileged to go to a men's conference and uh, locally, and one of the things that the, the leader did that struck my fancy, as they say, he had a particular scripture that came to mind every day. And he, the way it came to his mind, he set his alarm to ring on a certain chapter and verse. And every day in the afternoon or whatever time it was, when the alarm went off, he would be reminded or he would stop and reread that scripture to kind of do an evaluation. Well, I borrowed his idea, although I didn't use the same scripture. What I chose was 2 Timothy 4, verses 7 and 8. 4, 7 and 8. So every afternoon at 4.07, my alarm goes off in, on my phone. And every afternoon, if unless, you know, providentially hindered, unless there's a reason I can't do it, at 4.07, I will read these verses. Paul wrote to Timothy in his swan song, if you will, I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appearing. So every afternoon at 4.07, I read that scripture and I evaluate. I say, Lord, today, have I fought the good fight? Have I kept the faith? Have I finished strong? Have I done that today? And it, and it helps me stay on course. But again, I have to compare not with the neighbor up the road, not with the guy down the pew, not with someone else other than Jesus, other than the true and perfect standard. So every afternoon I do a self-examination. Well, our hymn of the week is a repeat, like many of them are, because I, I, uh, one time is just not enough for some of them. But today's hymn is entitled Satisfied with Jesus. It's number 472 was written by B.B. McKinney, who lived from 1886 and passed on in 1952. That's the year that I was born. So um, the, the song is Satisfied with Jesus. And the theme, the theme of the song is I'm satisfied with Jesus, but how does he feel about me? Once again, a time for reflection, a time for self-evaluation. Four verses, join me, if you will, number 472. I am satisfied with Jesus. He has done so much for me. He has suffered to redeem me. He has died to set me free. I am satisfied, I am satisfied, I am satisfied with Jesus. 
But the question comes to me as I think of Calvary. Is my master satisfied with me? He is with me in my trials. Best of friends of all is he. I can always count on Jesus. Can he always count on me? I am satisfied. I am satisfied. I am satisfied with Jesus. But the question comes to me as I think on Calvary. Is my master satisfied with me? I can hear the voice of Jesus calling out so pleadingly. Go and win the lost and straying. Is he satisfied with me? I am satisfied. I am satisfied. I am satisfied with Jesus. But the question comes to me as I think of Calvary. Is my master satisfied with me? On the last. When my work on earth is ended, and I cross the mystic sea. Oh, that I could hear him saying, I am satisfied with thee. I am satisfied. I am satisfied. I am satisfied with Jesus. But the question comes to me as I think of Calvary. Is my master satisfied with me? Folks, maybe today is a good time to do some evaluation, self-evaluation, examine ourselves and see how we fit against not a standard, but the standard the perfect standard of Jesus Christ and His Word. Thank you so much for joining us for this week's Crooked Creek Hymn of the Week. Good Lord willing, we'll see you next time.